What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sam. I'm the co-host of this fine channel, The Knights of War. We're here with Tony and we are discussing all things Midsummer Scream. Yeah. As you as you all may know, uh Midsummer Scream tickets are now on sale as of March 1st, or March 4th, I'm sorry, which was the previous Saturday. Um and so those tickets are on sale and for a limited time, you all are getting 40% off general admission. Once again, 40% off of general admission. Take advantage of it. Please do. For limit, a limited time. Obviously, if you've been a fan of the channel for a long time, you know that we are big advocates, not just for Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns, but we are big advocates for getting gold bats. If you can afford to do it, do it. But if not... Take advantage of this limited limited time offer for forty percent off. Um, let's start it off here with what we know um, from this. Tickets on sale now, um, and it's going to be taking place J July twenty eighth through the thirtieth, two thousand and twenty two thousand and twenty three. So just four short, about f almost five months away, little under five, so four months. Um, and those tickets are on sale, um, and the theme. For this year is what is the theme? Uh, the theme for this year is entitled Ghoulish Games. Um, it seems like this year they're going to be celebrating. Uh, they're going to put a new spin on uh, on the theme, and uh, they're going to be celebrating the the world of horror gaming. Now, this could be a matter of things. It doesn't just have to be video games. We're talking board games. We're talking games from like way way back in the day. You know, any game that's horror related um, is going to be a, a part of this. So it means we might see something to do with a, a Ouija board. That's obviously the, that's, you know, me and Sammy don't mess with that. But, you know, that's obviously the biggest horror game out there. Um, so I don't know. There's a lot of things that could be, you know, talking about. I mean, when you when I, when, the reason why I brought up the Ouija board, the reason why I brought up video games is because in the thing it says, this includes creepy board games and toys from our youth, all the way up to video games that feature zombies, monsters, and terrifying creatures. So I imagine that you'll, you'll, you'll see a lot of inspiration from, like, a, a lot of famous video game franchises or a lot of board games and toys that you've seen over the years that have either creeped you as a kid or something. Uh, we'll get a lot of inspiration from that. Uh, and the this awesome uh, facade of, of of the entrance to the Hall of Shadows is going to be put on by none other than Cal Haunts, who have been putting it on since 2017 uh, when Midsummer Scream officially began. And uh, every year, I, I'll be the first to say, every year they do a freaking phenomenal job with this entrance to the Hall of Shadows. Uh, last year was probably one of my favorites that they've done thus far. Um, so I'm excited to see what they what they pull off with this. Um, and whatnot. There's there's a lot of things going on. Uh, talk to us a little bit about the guest lineup, though. I mean, guest lineup's always huge too, huh, Sam? Yeah, well, I just wanted to I want to touch one point on the on the Hall of Shadows or uh, facade entrance. Last year, it was so good. Yeah. All of those little facades that they had as you entered in were amazing. And I thought, how do they top the previous year of Midsummer Scream? And I was like, it's going to be tough because when they did that Tiki theme back in nineteen. 19 that was the last midsummer screen we had i think correct yeah yeah so in 19 i was like that was really that was a really cool facade and then they went and said we're gonna we, we saw this level and we're gonna go up here um so it definitely was amazing but uh back to the question you had asked me about this guest list um i think it starts at the top um with the uh bullet brothers Sorry if I pronounced that incorrect, uh, but the Bullet Brothers um, are uh, very famous within um, within the horror community um, and and within that drag community as well. Um, they 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 put on some great hosting. They put on some great things because um, they are the creators and producers of the Bullet Brothers Dracula, um, and so they're going to be there all weekend. Um, hosting panels, having an interactive booth. Um, in addition, um, some of the other announced special guests we have is Rachel True. Um, she's famous from The Craft, the uh, one that came out in the 90s. Best one. Uh, Ni Naomi, I haven't seen either of them. It's good. Craft on, no on Voodoo. Go check it out. <laughs> Naomi uh, uh, Gro Grossman, uh, she's from American Horror Story. Um, I think her most famous role with American Horror Story was from season two. Um, Asylum, she played Pepper. 
um, a character I really enjoyed when I watched Asylum. Um, and last but not certainly, <laughs> last but certainly not least, uh, Trevor uh, Henderson, who's the creator of the viral Siren Head Urban Legend. Um, and those are just four announcements we've gotten thus far. You can expect more announcements as we draw closer to the convention. Uh, but these are four great announcements to start it off. Yeah, I mean, uh, as far as guest announcements go, I mean, uh, if I can speak a little bit about that, last year was a good one for us. I mean, at least for me, at least on the spec of, I got to meet um, Bill Mosley from uh, House of Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, Three from Hell. Um, he was really cool. Sammy was right there, I think, when I met him, and, and he was just a super nice guy. Uh, super, and we talked a little bit about um, his time with, of course, um, Captain Spaulding himself. Uh, Sid Haig. Sid Haig, yeah, and, and it was a lot of fun. We got, to, I got to meet the uh, the Kyoto brothers who created Killer Clowns from Outer Space. For those who know, that's one of my favorite movies of all time. And so to meet them was really, really fun for me. So I mean, and it's not just Midsummer Scream. It's a lot of these conventions when they give you these opportunities to meet some of your favorite celebrities and and stuff from horror films or TV or or whatever it may be. Um, it's it's an unreal experience. It's like a cool little one on one you get to have real quick and. It's really cool. It's really fun, and as a fan, it just makes you feel, you know, feel loved because you you're going to see the people that you grew up watching or grew up loving their work, and and now you get to meet them and tell them how much they meant to you. So it's always a fun time for me. I geek out every time I meet people. It's been a lot of fun. Um, speaking of which, uh, let's talk about for the first time ever. Uh, Hall of Shadows is going to be open all three days this year. Uh, last year we had a preview night followed by two days of the Hall of Shadows. This year, it looks like on preview night, we're going to have the Hall of Shadows open and ready to go. I'm super stoked for that. That gives us even more time to actually go through the haunts, as you guys know. When it comes to that weekend, Sammy and I are running around the convention, going to panels, making sure we say hi to our friends, making sure we're supporting the vendors, uh, meeting some celebrities. You know, We're, we're running everywhere, going everything. So to, to have a little bit more time to enjoy the Hall of Shadows, uh, I'm really looking forward to a lot. On top of that, they announced... Um, the official theming of of uh, demons and dragons, which will be overall kind of the the theming of, of the of the Hall of Shadows for that, and I'm super stoked that kind of ties in with the whole the uh, ghoulish games and whatnot. You know, kind of changing that. If anyone familiar now more than ever with Stranger Things, they're based on all their characters and and all their lore off Dungeons and Dragons. So now more than ever is the best best time to bring that stuff into uh, the haunt community. Uh, on top of that, Decayed Brigade is going to be uh, performing um, three shows daily, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, for those who've never seen the Decayed Brigade, we highly suggest uh, to get a spot and catch one of the shows. Uh, these guys do uh, insane stunts, uh, and it's all sliding-based. So if you guys ever been to Not Scary Farm and seen sliding, they do that, but just in a show performance way uh, with a lot of their talent and whatnot. So I'm super stoked to see what they come up with this year. Um, and, and there's a lot, you know, there's just a lot to look forward to at Midsummer Scream. Uh, more so, I did mention panels. Uh, and I know you want to touch a little bit on that right there, Sammy, because there's always a lot of surprises with these panels. Yeah, definitely. Um, and, and the other thing that's exciting, I think, about the Hall of Shadows is we have uh, nearly 20 haunts and attractions to visit during that time. So that is a lot to do. Um, and so with the Hall of Shadows being open, open for three days now, um, if you're getting that weekend general admission ticket, I really think it's something you're going to want to capitalize on on Friday night. Um, because on Friday night, the amount of guests there was a little bit less than the other two days. Um, and so with it being open all three days, it's really going to give you a great opportunity to visit every single one of these um, amazing um, haunts and attractions there. Um, and speaking of haunts and attractions, um, we have our panels announcements thus far. Uh, we're hearing 13th Floor uh, Entertainment Group, um, and you may know them from LA Haunted Hayride, you may know Delusion, them from Free Tickets, <laughs> Shacktoberfest, Free Tickets, free tickets. <laughs> one of the most sought after uh, uh, seats uh, at Durant. <laughs> During the entire great. weekend. We're all like, we need um, to go to this panel. We need to get our free tickets. Yeah. Yeah. And they never disappoint. But because of that, I got to experience Shacktoberfest. And, and it was actually a lot better than I was expecting it to be. So uh, I really appreciate in the past uh, 13 floor being kind enough to give uh, fans free tickets to come check out the events. It's been a lot of fun for us. 
yeah and it, it makes it easy on our wallets to, yeah, um, being able to get some free tickets because haunt season is expensive um and another cool thing here we got winchester mystery house um that's up in, in northern california six flags magic mountains fright fest Ooh. i don't believe they were there last year oh that means they might be bringing some heat this year yeah they might be bringing some heat um and obviously uh, if you've been following the channel we just made that uh the video last week or earlier this week um about uh screen scream break. screen break so six flags is bringing some heat mm -hmm. um and so i'm excited to see what they, they bring um in addition i thought this was really cool we're gonna get a special look at the 100th anniversary of the anaheim halloween parade um and that's gonna be hosted by disney fan f favorites kevin kidney and jody daly um and a, a variety of other live interviews and, and horror podcasts um um, including Bloody and Disgusting, Screambox, <laughs> Screambox, Lovecraft. Uh, last year, Vamp did a really cool uh, podcast uh, with Greg Nicotero that oh. both Tony and I really enjoyed. Um, so th th there is so much programming. Um, I know that when we've talked with Rick West previously, their goal is for you to leave the convention saying, man, I wish I could have went here. Man, I could have wish we went there. Um, and so we do our best on this channel to cover as much as we can. Um, so if you might have missed something, if you might have missed a panel, if you might have missed something in the Hall of Shadows, go ahead right now, subscribe, put some bell notifications on, become because August 1st, basically, we're going to be hitting that ground running with great content. So stay tuned. Shameless yeah. plug. Yeah, not, not to mention, if you guys want to see coverage, if you get an idea what this convention is about, you can check out coverage from last year, which was in our Midsummer Scream 2022 playlist. Uh, we have, I think, over 18 videos from last season. And then the season before, 2019, you can check out. We have over, like, 20-something videos. We went nuts. With, we go nuts with coverage. We try to give you guys the best uh, experience so you guys can watch it. Some things may be posted earlier than others, so uh, be on the lookout. There might be things posted that weekend that we post, especially if – uh, I don't know, say a little Horror Nights panel, and uh, maybe if we're lucky enough to uh, get the one-on-one -on -one with John Murdy. But if not, I mean, trust me, there's going to be things posted throughout the weekend, throughout that week. So like Sammy said, have the bell notifications on. You're not going to want to miss the absolute best coverage at the absolute best convention in my eyes. So um, Yeah, another thing you're not going to want to miss is what? 350, 350 vend vendors <laughs> man i mean uh, so we always say come and support the small businesses and all these vendors for the most part are small businesses and um if you're gonna spend money you know spend money on these guys because a lot of the stuff these guys make and are, are usually handmade goods or or you know wearable clothes or masks or you know anything there's a lot of different things there that's not just one you know, there's there's people that sell candles. There's people that you know. There's there's everything at this convention. So, uh, just to name a few that are gonna be uh, confirmed for 2023, we got Immortal Mask, which is one of my favorite companies. Those guys make amazing detailed masks. Uh, Trick or Treat Studios, who is known for really getting the rights for a lot of these iconic um, horror properties and selling um, props as well. They're they're on my good list. I like them. The Halloween Shirt Company. Um, I've never heard of them, but that sounds like a great company. Uh, backstitch Bruja. That should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to that. That line is always ridiculous. It was backstitch a really, Bruja. really long line last year. Is that the yeah. is that the ones that sell the soda? Uh, I don't know that they're, they're the ones I believe that sell uh, various like garments okay. and clothes. Okay, they sell clothes and stuff. Uh, they were on the same row, I believe, as. Uh, like a lot of the celebrity sign-ins oh, okay. uh, last year, and they had a really long line. Hey, good for them, man. They're doing something right yeah. then. Good for you guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. go support. Uh, Sin City Props and uh, Froggy's Fog. So I'm looking forward to seeing what some of these uh, vendors have to bring. I really hope my favorite vendor is there, Danny's Spooky Treats. Got to have me my Chamoy Gushers. I love those things um, and the Chamoy in general. So um, you know where I'll be and get that Danny Spooky Treats. Um but there's a lot of a, uh, if you guys you know want to bring the family, there's even stuff for the family to do. And, and Sammy, do you want to explain a little bit of, of what family and other uh, activities they have to for to offer for the uh, the event? Yeah, definitely. I, I really definitely think that Midsummer does a really good job with their programming. Um, so whether you're eight or you're eighty or somewhere in between, they have something for you. Um, we got Paranormal Pixies uh, Pumpkin Patch Children's Zone, which is a nice area um, to allow your children to decompress, have some fun, do arts little and arts, crafts. Yeah. crafts uh, good good zone. We got the Black Cat Lounge, uh, which is a kitten adoption center. Another great thing to do. Everyone something that. 
Yeah, everyone loves cats, and it's something I want to do this year. Let's do so, it. So, Tony, do do Let's not do let it. me forget. We are going to go see the Black Cat Lounge. Go play with some kitties. Get some uh, content for you guys. Little content. Uh, and last but certainly not least, Screaming Room Film Festival presented by Horbuzz. Um, you know, that's an opportunity for uh, up-and-coming filmmakers to get their, their short films basically seen, um, which is super cool that yeah. Midsummer helps facilitate that happening. Um, and obviously this is just the, the, one of the first press releases we've gotten thus far. Um, so we, we recommend go ahead and follow Midsummer Scream on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, um, and you'll be able to get all of those things as well as if you go to midsummerscream.org, you can get that newsletter um, so you can stay in the know with what's happening, um, especially as the announcements start to heat up as we get closer and closer to July. Yeah, and uh, in the future, maybe in a few weeks or so, we're, we're gonna, we'll probably do a video breaking down your ticket options. Uh, Sammy and I have been at the convention many times now, and uh, we could break down how it is for you, and if you're gonna get this ticket, what time you gotta be there, and, and how early you gotta be there, and, and how to get the best experience with, with certain tickets and whatnot. So stay tuned, we're gonna be doing a video breaking down tickets real soon, but tickets are on sale right now. Take advantage of that 40% off general admission. Uh, that's a really sweet deal. That's almost half off your order right there. I mean, that's that's an incredibly uh, a great deal. And then if you guys, have the extra money we highly suggest that you take advantage of those gold bat passes because i guarantee you that's going to get you the best experience for the weekend uh regardless whatever ticket you get you're going to have a great weekend uh if, if you're going to hang out with friends going to check out vendors going to see the hall of shadows going to see some panels uh it's it's a vibe it, it's it, it, you can't really explain it but once you're there you know that it, you're part of this vibe I mean, every year we get excited, we get stoked. We went all out last year. We actually finally got a hotel in the area. You know, we were going every single day um, and, and just having a fun time. But then when you leave, you feel sad because it's all over. But at the same time, you feel excited because haunt season is is what's coming up next. So this is this is it right here, man. I mean, I know we've been kind of you know a little quiet in the beginning of the year, but we're trying to we're trying to figure out some stuff so we can get you guys content year round. And we could still cover haunt news because I know you guys really love the haunt world and, and as much as we do. So thank you guys for the constant support for almost getting us. We're almost 3K, guys. If you guys can hit that subscribe button, if you guys are brand new, we really love your support and we hope to not let you down. I mean, we we go above and beyond when we make our videos and uh, we love what we do. Uh, we love the community. We love everyone in it, no matter race, uh, ethnicity. Um, however you identify, we love you no matter what. So we want to thank each and every one of you for the constant support. And Sammy, go ahead and finish it with the socials. Yeah, as mentioned, uh, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, bell notifications. Um, if you want to follow us and get some more insight, go ahead and see us on Instagram at the Knights of Horror, on TikTok at the Knights of Horror, on Twitter because you have to have a shorter handle, Knights of Horror, uh, and on Twitch at Knights of Horror Gaming. Got it. Perfect. Got it. And you, you'll mostly see Tony on there, but maybe I'll make a guest appearance sometime. Oh. I don't know. We got a no Call promise. Duty one this week, so you know maybe we could come on a little Call of Duty. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but nonetheless, we really hope y'all uh, are having a great day, uh, and we look forward to seeing y'all in the fog. Peace. Later.